Jamaican oxtail is one of those dishes that when you serve it to your guests, the room will go completely silent. And all you need to do is get quiet and listen for the mmm. Oh, mmm. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah, that's good! It is absolutely one of the best recipes of all time. And as always, there is no time to waste. Now, let's go! Before we get all wrapped up in these oxtails, we're first gonna make Haitian epis, which is this incredible Caribbean green sauce you can use as a meat marinade, among other things. The ingredients are as such, garlic, salt, ginger, green onion, white onion, parsley, thyme, habanero, cilantro, allspice, berry, olive oil, and lime juice. Of course, if you can find scotch bonnet chilies, that would be even better. All I could find today was habanero, so that will do just fine. Pretty simple, my friends. We're just gonna throw all these ingredients into a blender or a food processor, whichever one you have. And we blend. For just about 15 seconds, I want to leave it a little bit chunky, not totally smooth. And it's really as simple as that, my friends. I'm just dumping this out now. Keep that in your fridge, use it as a marinade, and you're only going to be a lot happier for it. Here we have the oxtails, my friends, a cut that used to be a lot cheaper, I would say. Although I got five pounds of this for $34, which comes out to about $7 per pound. It's not so bad, but considering it's the tail of an animal, maybe a little bit expensive. I don't know. How much does it cost in your area? I'm usually not a meat washer myself, but the authentic way to treat this dish in Jamaica is to always wash the oxtails. So that is what I'm gonna do with some cold water. People say wash your meat, don't wash your meat. I mean, it can't hurt, look at that. So we're getting rid of that. And what I'm gonna do is rinse these out three times. And the last thing we're gonna do is scrub with a little bit of lime, using the lime like it's a sponge. This is the final step in cleaning these oxtails. You'll also see vinegar used a lot of the time. And I'm just rubbing the lime against the bones on all the sides to do that last little cleaning. And finally, we'll just rinse out with water one last time. And our oxtails are ready for use. Right now, I have two little beans on either shoulder. One is a little angry French chef saying, put on the American, trim the meat, make it perfect. And on the other shoulder is the Caribbean being saying, just leave it, man. Just leave it how it is. It's all good. The trained chef in me wants to trim these up. I'm not gonna do it because I don't think they would actually do that in Jamaica. I don't, I don't, correct me if I'm wrong. If there's too much fat left over at the end of cooking this dish, I'll simply just skim some off the top. This is obviously not a dish for the faint of heart, so let's just leave it as it is. Time to marinate these beautiful oxtails, starting with pepper, salt, green onion, this little sauce that's called browning sauce. You could also use Maggie seasoning. In. It's really strong, so you don't need a lot. And it's gonna help to give it that beautiful, rich, deep, dark brown color. Soy sauce, ginger, onion powder, garlic powder, Worcestershire sauce, olive oil, our green sauce, or Haitian epis. One more habanero, but I'm gonna use this like a little heat bomb, so I'm just gonna cut a little slit in it and throw it in. I'll pull that out after it cooks for a while. Onion, that's just yellow onion. Some bell pepper, some fresh thyme stripped off the stem. This is jerk seasoning from my family in Costa Rica. They live just outside of Turi Alba, and this is something they made and sent home with me when I visited a few years back. It's a blend of a whole bunch of different dried chilies. Really amazing. Obviously, this is really spicy and optional, but I'm going to put a little hint of that in there. And of course, some allspice berries. I'm going to do about maybe 10, 12 of these. And I'm going to ask how many of you thought allspice was a blend of a bunch of different spices? I really want to know. Marcus, did you think allspice was a blend of spices? Just use the thing. Did you? He see? Allspice is actually a dried berry. Really love it. it smells incredible. Straight in. Now we're gonna give this all a really good mix. The smells already are just insane. Oh, my eyes are burning, but my heart is happy. Oh, this smells so freaking good. Oof. There are three more ingredients that are going in this Jamaican oxtail recipe. I don't want to put them right now though because they will burn if I do that. They're going to go in a little later. One is ketchup. One is tomato paste. You could also use fresh tomato if you don't want to use tomato paste, although I do love tomato paste. And the third is my secret ingredient and my contribution to the oxtail recipe, which I'll reveal when I throw it in. Time to deploy some patience and let this marinade. Marinade? Marinate? Is anybody watching? No? Marinade? Marinate. If you want to go ahead and marinate this in the morning and cook it a couple hours later, to have it ready for dinner, you can do that, which is what I'm gonna do for this video. However, if you wanna do it 12 hours or even 24 hours, it can only do it a lot of good, of course. See you soon. By now, we know it doesn't take expensive tools to make a good meal, but food prices are skyrocketing across the world. And meat cuts like oxtail, which used to be one of the cheapest, are proof. We could all use a little more cushion for our bank accounts, and look, I'm no financial guru, but normally we'd have investments to fall back on in times like these. But last year was disastrous for the normal investments we grew up hearing about. According 
to JP Morgan 2022 was the worst for the traditional stock bond portfolio since 2008's global crisis. And many financial experts believe this year could be just as devastating. Luckily, we can learn from the past. The last time inflation was near its current rates, only a handful of investments returned profits. And there's one asset that the 1% turned to during economic crisis, and that's fine art. In the time period from 1973 to 1981, the value of art appreciated at an annual average rate of 13.5%. According to the MW All Art Index, the value of art has a near zero correlation with traditional equities, meaning that when traditional investments like stocks and bonds are declining due to current events, your art investment may be less likely affected. Until recently, just the 1% could use art as an investment. But with Masterworks, you can invest like the ultra wealthy for a fraction of the cost. And this is not an NFT, this is museum grade contemporary art. Over 600,000 people have signed up so far and with these numbers, it's easy to see why. Works from legends like Banksy have sold out in minutes so there may be a wait list. But if you are interested, my subscribers will get priority access down at the link in the description. And now back to the oxtail. All right, all I've done now is separate my oxtails from all the vegetables and absolutely do not throw those away. Those are going in the stew, just not right away. Just have them ready to go. I've got a pot pan type hybrid thing right here that is big enough to hold all my oxtails. Bringing that up to medium high heat, adding a little bit of cooking oil and here we go. I'm gonna sear these all off. I've had these going for about four minutes on this side and I'm really trying to get them nice and dark and colorful before we turn to a new side. And we're gonna take our time here and really brown them all over this way. Oh, I can't tell you how good it smells in here right now. Woo! I'm also cooking all the little pieces in a separate pan just to accelerate the process. You can definitely do it all in the same pot if you want. You just gotta take out the big pieces first and then put in the little ones. This is great because this pan is actually the lid for that pot, which you'll see in a minute. Woo! Okay, these little puppies are seared off nicely. I'm gonna add in all the small pieces now, as well as all the vegetables. Ketchup going in, tomato paste, and as promised, my secret ingredient, which is Steen's cane syrup. It's gonna add a really awesome flavor and color to this. If you can't find this, just use brown sugar. That will be just fine. Straight in. It's not gonna be really sweet, just a little hint of sweetness. And as always, my friends, the recipe will be located in the description box under this video, as well as some of my favorite tools and things you see in my recipes. I'm gonna keep the heat now around medium, and I wanna let this ketchup and tomato paste and everything just kind of cook off in the pan for a few minutes. Oh my gosh. Just a really good stir. Before adding any type of water at all, you can already see how much liquid is just coming out because of all the vegetables and beef. So all we're gonna do is cover it up for right now. This is how that pan doubles as a lid, kinda cool. And I'm gonna let that cook first for about 20 minutes or so. At this point, I'm just topping it off with beef stock. Honestly, you could just use water for this. You don't need beef stock. And this is a kind of a lighter beef stock. I just watered it down a bit because there's already so much flavor in here. And I'm just gonna do a sort of cracked lid on it like I like to do. We're gonna keep the heat just on a simmer so a touch over low and it needs to cook for about three hours or until that oxtail meat is just shredding off the bone or cartilage or whatever is inside of that little tail. So deploy a little patience, go watch Forrest Gump or something and check back in a little later. I cooked mine just slightly longer than expected. So for three and a half hours total and here is the result my friends. It truly is something to behold. On another note, I pulled out my little habanero spice bomb after just one hour to leave a kind of mild to medium heat rounding out this whole dish. And there is only one thing left to do and that is to add the butter beans. It's not really Jamaican oxtail without these butter beans. Simply leave them in the sauce on low heat for about five minutes to warm up. These beans were already cooked so that's all you need to do. Lastly, it's time to serve up your oxtail and indulge in one of the most glorious dishes of all time. Let's just shred into this thing. Oh my gosh. Ooh. Oh. You know what? I'm putting down my knife and fork because honestly when I eat oxtail, I just love to pick it up and eat it like a rib. Mm. Oh my God, nobody talk to me right now. The spice level is mild to medium. It just warms up your whole face in the most wonderful way. The meat is falling off the bone. There's a slight hint of sweetness that is absolutely phenomenal. 10 out of 10, an absolutely incredible dish. It's super hot. I'm gonna eat it. Go ahead. No, it's perfect. There you go, there's the right side. It's all over my face. This good, is man. so good. Insane, right? Oh my God. Right? This is one of the best things I've ever put in my mouth. Mm-hmm. Make it. And until next time, you know I love you when I'm out.